something kind of weird happened. This guitar, when I got it, the bridge was not even. If you can see it now, it's perfectly even after I put these strings on. The action was good, but not great. One little turn on the bridge to raise it a tiny bit after I put these strings on, like it's the action's perfect all of a sudden. I don't know if it's because they're new and strong and not broken in yet, but this thing, if you can see it, everything's perfectly level, super low action, and I'm just sitting here breaking in these damn strings. <laughs> It's a rule that when you're breaking in strings, you have to do that. It's going to sound like complete garbage. Let's see how in tune it is. <laughs> Alright, now let me tune it up. strings that were on this guitar were brand new. I think they were Diodarios. They were probably a 10 gauge, not just because of Steve Vai. I definitely put the Steve Vai strings, the, you know, John Petrucci strings on here, but the nine gauge, I think there was, there were tens on here. It was a little heavier. It could have been a nine gauge. I don't know, but there's a humongous difference, not only in just in the bridge and the action, which is amazing. Now the playability of this, like it screams. Like I, I think I have examples of me playing through this line six amp and it just rips. It is so, so like, like you can get your highs like. And it's definitely a warmer sound. Like it's not as guttural. Supposedly the cobalt that is mixed into the metal of these strings, apparently it's the most magnetic metal there is, and now they infused it into strings. So the pickups right here, obviously those run off of magnetism. So when it tries to pick up that sound, it's just gonna, it's just gonna ring. It's gonna get so much draw. Like it's just gonna draw so much power and everything through that. Like <laughs> My phone died, so I had more time to mess around with this. I absolutely love these strings. Massively different than the Diodarios that were on there. And even in a clean tone, it just sings and it's so effortless. And I don't know how, like, I have never, like, I've never been a guitar tech. I just play the damn thing. Some twisted thing happened where my action is absolutely perfect and it doesn't buzz. I'm overjoyed. I'm gonna try a clean tone through the two single coils. tighter shirt but they didn't i actually wore this to guitar center and the girlfriend tells me that looks ridiculous on you which it does it's too tight i needed a clean shirt to wear 
which I accomplished. I look like an immense douche, also important. I had something to wear under my jacket. Now, just a tip for guitar players, try and stay in shape because you look better on camera. And your fingers are less fat, so this thing's easier to play. Ooh, that feels so good. I did it perfectly, and then all of a sudden I'm thinking about it. The overall gist of all of this is these strings are awesome. Like I said, those are the Ernie Ball, Cobalt 9 through 42s, they're super slinky ones. You can get heavier gauges. It has real cobalt in it. It's much more magnetic. I can tell huge, huge difference. This is fantastic. The guitar plays better. It physically plays better because I put these strings on it. And obviously, look, people are gonna lie to you. You can, you can buy an inexpensive guitar. You can set it up. You can put the Marzio pickups in it. You can put nice strings on it. You can put string locks on it and everything like that. You can do all of that to your guitar and it'll play great. You can make a really cheap guitar play really good and actually sound really good. But why do people buy these signature guitars? Why do people buy these specific DiMarzio straps and all that kind of stuff? Because it feels cool. It, it feels like it belongs here. It feels like the Marzio strap, strap locks, these, uh, oh, sorry, not strap locks, but the clip locks. And it all, it all goes together really well. Usually I'm not a huge fan of endorsed things, but cars and guitars, cars are a little different because some famous actor endorsing a car, it, that, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter at all because they didn't develop the car. They don't know about the car. It's different. It's different if Matt LeBlanc endorses the car because he's a driver. He's a car guy. But Steve Vai helped physically build these. He's responsible for the original gem. And when he puts these style strings on there and this great gauge strings, and I watch him play an entire show, all this fast stuff, it makes you want to use those same things and see how they work. And all I can say is I was a little skeptical about these strings, but they are so fantastic. They resonate like crazy. <laughs> Sorry, but now I have to play the goodbye room. All my life, that's the, that's the riff that my dad would play when he was done playing guitar, when we would play downstairs for several hours, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But that riff right there, that's what my dad plays when he's done. So that's what I play when I'm done. The Gem 77 WDP is a fantastic guitar. Uh, like I said, I hadn't bought one since I was 17 years old. Myself, my father had given me one as a gift when I got my first guitar. I uh, got a John R. Hill, a blue one, as a gift after I bought my JS, which I worked an entire summer and a half doing stalls to get. So the first actual, like, I bought a nice guitar for myself is actually this one. So uh, it's pretty sweet. It sounds amazing. It plays like a gem. It looks, it looks absolutely amazing. And all I know is if you're going to get one, try out these strings. They're so fantastic. So I'll, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. I'm going to go put this away and find a tighter shirt. What should be the I put a shirt on that used to fit me, but I gained 20 pounds riff? That's it. That is the I put on 20 pounds riff. As you can see, the fat guy walking down the street to it. Stop. I will not finish that rip. Kurt Cobain is the bane of all guitar players' existence. I hate that motherfucker.